Susie and I have been talking about racing at the 12 hours of Sebring. Right. Oh, how do you stay awake? <laughs> well, it's, it's no problem. <laughs> racing has been in my blood for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, I married a fellow. The reason that mm -hmm. I actually started racing was uh, my former husband, Charles Dietrich, and uh, that's what he liked to do. And you and went yeah, along. And I never even had a driver's license until I was 19 years old. Wow. I uh, pretty much been able to drive any car they put me in. Wow. And what interested you about it? Was it the speed or the competition? What did you like the most? I liked the cars. You liked winning? The cars. <laughs> the cars. And what did you like about it? The handling? Uh, well, first of all, you have to have a good mechanic and good preparation. I've been interviewed a few times and mm -hmm. maybe forgot to mention. You're only as good as the people behind you. Your team. I just love cars and uh, I've been fortunate in having What's good cars. What's the favorite race car you ever drove? Well, I pro probably my first actual car was a 1948 MGTC wow. supercharged, had a blower. Now what that means is I could not race in stock class mm -hmm. uh, because I was, I had you to run with modified, that. right. <laughs> and I just found out recently in reading that when you put a blower and a supercharger on a stock MG, you increase the horsepower three times. Now, I couldn't believe it. I went out the first year at Cumberland, Maryland, which is a favorite track not too far, and uh, I started in ladies' races. I led all the way through that entire ladies' race till the last lap, and my crew was there giving me boards, you know, like plus this, mm -hmm. plus that. And for some reason, I froze to the pedal and we were coming down to where to get the checker and I locked up and I just went straight and that was uh, my arch rival, uh, Mrs. Wiley, Malcolm Robert, Jesse Wiley, wow. she, she won the race. Uh. And uh, so the next year I went back and uh, I led all the way. I, they didn't give me a board and I uh, defeated uh, and then that year she wasn't driving just uh, an XK regular smaller Jag, she had the big mm -hmm. one. And uh, it was written up in uh, a magazine, one of the, that said Susie Dietrich drove the race of her life. I was waiting to go out in a ladies race at Akron, that's mm -hmm. where, at Akron. And Chuck Dietrich came in and my friend Jerry Henry and was standing there and she's, he said the clutch is gone. I'll go get you another car. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, well, that'll be interesting. So I'm standing there with my helmet waiting to go out. He came back, he brought me a, an Elva. Mm -hmm. Elva, well, I knew the builder of the car. It was built in England. Elva is French for she goes. Ah. El, Elva. Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. he brought it back and I won, won the race. And, but then I decided that then the other thing is getting practice time. Mm -hmm. um, Chuck Dietrich could go out two laps, he knew the course. Mm -hmm. I, I don't learn a course that fast. You had to ride yeah. it more, mm -hmm. drive it longer. Yeah, I like road course. I like Watkins Glen, New York. Mm -hmm. I, I won the first ladies race. You had good at, success there. At Watkins mm -hmm. Glen, yeah. And then I liked Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Uh, the only trouble is, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you know, you don't want to go off the road. No. But I heard you you talked to me earlier about VIR in Virginia. Yeah, Tell VIR is uh, a real road course, and I maybe I told you I was there about mm -hmm. two, two, three years ago. A girl mm -hmm. runs it, and uh, VIR uh, I I still re remember how it go you know drives, mm -hmm. and uh, they have a corner there called Oak Oak Tree Corner, mm -hmm. and you come out, you do your laps, and you come around, and you just Go right around. If you had your choice of racing cars, what would you choose? <laughs> Something faster than an MG. <laughs> yeah. uh, I hear that you also drove in the Bahamas, in Nassau. Can you tell me about that? 
Yeah, I, I did drive in the Bahamas. Um, so I started 13th in the first mm -hmm. heat and I finished third overall. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I said, can <laughs> you awesome. do that again? Well, mm -hmm. I, how do I know, you know? <laughs> Gotta try. And I went out, and I very seldom crash or go off the road. So anyway, I got in and went down the first corner, Blackbeard's corner, it's a left, and I went in that corner. One girl said you were rolling over in the air. I still don't believe that. Wow. But I went back and I went back through underbrush like this. Oh and the car, I held on like this, I think I bent the steering wheel, and I just went, went, went way back in there. And then all of a sudden it's real quiet, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, like in the jungle. They <laughs> called me Miss Reynolds Rap, the jungle queen. <laughs>
once and he I had some sunglasses that have like wire mm -hmm. and he said what kind of something or what kind I don't know oh they were in a Ray-Ban case mm -hmm. and he said um, what kind of rims do they have so I just opened the case took them out and they had the little kind where you can drape Wrap around your ear you know I said would you like to try them on he said no I would have given them to him if he had wanted them, but mm -hmm. yeah, and then the race, and so we just sat there and watched the race. Race was over, and I'm standing there, and uh, there's a big platform up here, and uh, the Newman and, and Carl and whoever drivers, so then this gal came over to me and she said, do you have a pass to be in here? <laughs> and I just, I didn't even dignified so this is after she got done saying do you have a pass to be in here this guy came over and he said Susie they want you up on the platform wow. and oh oh butter wouldn't melt in her mouth oh she wanted <laughs> to help me get so I went up there and they mm -hmm. took some pictures well, and that's nice. the last time that uh, mm -hmm. but Joanne was there and mm -hmm. uh, she's just like any other wife you know mm -hmm. and uh, he's just like any other person didn't sound like he was all that movie starish. He was a pretty nice guy then. I mean, as far as he didn't oh, act yeah, all yeah. important. He That's just, good. Yeah. Carol Shelby. Oh Same. yeah, I know. Yeah. I know Carol mm -hmm. Shelby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but I don't go have dinner with. No, him, but no. you got yeah. to meet a lot of but, people that other people whose mm -hmm. names we recognize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I know Carol Shelby. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Now, what do you think is the most favorite memory you have of racing? Winning. <laughs> That's good. I like that answer. You told me earlier, what did you say about racing? You don't always. Tell me again. I may not win, but I'm hard to beat. Don't yeah. ever forget it. 